and breaking from overnight search teams in central Ohio are looking for victims or survivors after a tornado swept through several communities. Logan County Sheriff says that mobile home parks in Lakeview and Russell's Point took a direct hit. At least two people are dead in Bellefontaine, about 65 miles north of Dayton, and officials also say there will likely be more fatalities with tornadoes causing significant damage. We are also hearing from those caught right inside that path. The sirens went off here in Russell's Point and about five minutes later, it sounded like a freight train coming through our front room. Our laundry mat is gone. The old plastics building is just completely demolished. Downtown, it's bad. Yeah. It's very bad. It's pure devastation. I have never seen anything like this in my entire life. An official said that they won't know the true extent of this damage until after the sun comes up. Now in Indiana, multiple buildings, they were damaged by a tornado in Rand uh, Randolph County. That storm hit the city of West Winchester at about 90 miles northeast of Indy uh, last night. About 8 o'clock, you could see the lightning there in the distance. Indiana State Police Superintendent Doug Carter says teams are still searching for those missing in that storm. So this is just beginning for us. We'll stay as long as the mayor asks us or needs us to stay and help them as much as we can. Remember, the, it, it seems like these always strikes um, a, a people that, uh, that, that, have, that will have a tremendous need. All of us would. All of us would. So I think it's the right thing for us to do to let them know that we're not going to leave when all the debris is cleaned up. And according to the National Weather Service, a survey team is leaving at 9 a.m. to investigate Delaware and Randolph counties. And some of the worst damage that our crews captured was in Milton, Kentucky. That's east of VV. You can see some of the cleanup underway during daylight yesterday. They'll have much more as they find places to stay and some just have to rebuild from nothing. Yeah, we do want to get right back out to WCPO 9 News reporter Ellie Kramer live in Milton this morning. Ellie, the last time we spoke with you, you were gathering some more information from people that are still out at the scene. I did. I talked to some crews with the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet, the road crews. They were actually called in from Henry County to relieve some of the guys that were here in Trimble County. And they said, uh, you know, Kentucky 36, which runs right along the Ohio River, is absolutely devastated. We haven't been able to get to that point yet, but they said it looks like bombs went off. I mean, homes, RVs, mobile homes are destroyed. And so they said you can still kind of navigate your way back. We are going to do that here in a few minutes. But first, uh, I want to show you some of this video. Here's an RV flipped upside down. Uh, Milton, Kentucky is right across the bridge from Madison, Indiana, which is certainly a lot bigger town, but uh, it sits literally along the Ohio River. So a lot of these homes are either mobile homes or RVs, campers that can be easily moved because, of course, the river floods when you live right along it. So that's kind of part of the scariest uh, of this tornado is that people were inside those homes uh, holding on for dear life, not knowing if that tornado was going to literally pick up their home as well. And we talked to some of those people who think they are absolutely very lucky to have survived. Going to end up down there on the highway or not? I mean, what do you, what do you go through your head in a moment like that? Where it's, hey, there ain't nothing you can do. Knocked out but it's really going to get you. It's going to get you. But miraculously, no one died and only two people. So you heard there uh, actually Shonda Lancey sharing a bit as well when he was talking with that man. Uh, no one died. Two people injured at least. That is what the EMA director is reporting for now. And take a look at this. This is uh, Jazz and Jack's Pizza Shack. It was not open at the time, closed for the season. But this is what uh, that tornado did, literally just ripping the roof right off, uh, snapping trees kind of along the way. We are literally... Uh, a stone's throw from the bridge to Madison, Indiana. So it sits li right along the river and, and just having the tornado uh, itself uh, kind of coming across the river. So again, we're going to stay here in Milton, Kentucky. We're going to make our way down to Kentucky 36. Uh, the entire county still without power because the tornado took a transmission line out uh, and those crews are not supposed to be back until about 8 o'clock this morning to try to, again, restore what they can to this area. Guys? Yeah, still a lot to be done in that area. Yeah, the only reason we're seeing Allie is because of our own generators and mm -hmm. our own lights. So Allie, be careful out there mm -hmm. and thanks so much for the new information.
There's also cleanup underway across the river in Jefferson County, Indiana, where multiple homes were damaged the air there. Storm bringing down exactly what you would expect. The trees, the power lines ripping off roofs. There are thousands of homes in this area without power as well, and they are just encouraging as with all of these to avoid the air. If you don't live there that way, first responders and the weather service can be out there. They can assess the damage and maybe get help to those who still need it.